All right, let's see. I will pull up. Can everybody see my screen now? Not yet. All right, almost there. All right. Perfect. Good to go? Yeah, this is perfect. Um, so as everyone knows, I'm Caitlin. Um, I've been working at Pinterest for three and a half years now. Um, and I don't normally give presentations like this. Um, I am a Navy veteran and got um, in touch with Nate through an old friend of his from the Marine Corps. So um, I work on our product design team. So I design kind of the user experience and what you guys see every day when you log on to Pinterest. Um, but I specifically work on that for businesses. So creators, um, advertisers, small businesses, people who are trying to gain a presence on Pinterest. Um, and so I um, don't work necessarily with those brands every day, but I build the products for them. So I do a lot of research with them um, and can hopefully help give you some tips and tricks to get started and figure out what the best way to set up Pinterest for you guys is. Um, and if you can um, go to slide four, yeah. Um, so the agenda that we're going to go through today, first, why Pinterest? Um, so next slide. Um, and I'll quickly go through this. But basically, we have 335 million active monthly active users. So that's people who are getting on the platform once a month, at least. Um, they're saving over 240 billion pins. And there's 5 billion boards created through those saves. Wow. Um, our users are very diverse. And so like, this is just kind of um, an image of a bunch of users, but um, we have more users in um, international users than we do in the US just by a bit, but that's great. The, our international audience is growing very rapidly. Um, one in three signups is a male, um, which can, um, m many people think it's on a platform only for females, but Eight. that's not true at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> they told her all that. <laughs> And our mission is to bring everyone the inspiration to create a life they love. Um, so that's really what we focus all of our products on. Um, we're out there in the world and we really want to bring inspiration. Um, so we don't really consider ourselves a social media platform because we're really just trying to bring you that inspiration into your daily life and not necessarily share that with all your friends and family and closest people around. Um, you can scroll down. So most people come to Pinterest with a dream, they discover and save that. Um, and then they try and figure out how to make that a reality. So I think for in your case, like people are coming to Pinterest to plan right now, especially their future when we get out of this whole situation. Um, so they're planning like, what type of house do I want? Where do I want that? What's the decor? What's the style? Um, and then once they get those down and they have a board with that they're like okay now how do I make this happen what is that style that I'm saving for my kitchen is that a farmhouse kitchen like I'm not sure how to even call that um, and that's when they really try and figure out like how do I make this a reality and how do I make it come true um, so you can scroll down um, so people come to figure out what to do next um, and the next slide. Um, yeah, so how Pinterest works, um, I don't know how many of you have used Pinterest personally, um, but basically we're a very powerful visual discovery engine. So all of our content is focused around the image and that pin, which all of these up on the screen are all different pins. Um, and we'll go into this a little bit later, but that's why it's so important for you guys as a business, as a brand representing yourself, making sure that those visual images are beautiful, they're inspiring, they're helpful, um, and people can really identify with those. Um, so if, yeah, the next slide, basically Pinterest is very personalized. We learn about you as you save. So if you continue to save um, ranch style houses, 
we will provide you with more ranch style house pins. Um, so we learn about you over time. As a new user, when you first sign up on the platform, there's a pretty, um, there's like eight steps to go through for us to know, like, why are you coming to Pinterest? Is it for fashion? Is it for home decor? Is it for both? And we can show you both of that content. Um, and then as you start to search, um, so we have home feed, which is where we show you all of those recommended stuff. And then as you start to search, we also learn about you. So if you're searching for five minute dinner recipes, you want like a really quick and easy thing. And then we might end up learning like, okay, maybe you also want um, five minute dessert recipes or like quick and easy crafts with your kids. Um, and we start to learn about you over time and build up that profile. So the key to Pinterest is the more you use it, the better the more curated and personalized an experience you get on our end. So we know more about you. Um, so we try and give you the right ideas at the right time. So moments are really big on Pinterest, holidays, um, back to school, for instance, things like that. Um, people come to Pinterest. Halloween is one of like our biggest holidays because um, a lot of costume inspiration happens there. Um, but that, also starts early. So Halloween this year, people might start searching for ideas in August. Um, so always knowing and thinking ahead of what your customer is going to be looking for. Um, I won't go into too much detail here, but you guys can look through this later. Um, basically, here's some tips and tricks about how to optimize your pins. As I mentioned, that image is so important. The less text on the image and the less distraction from that image, the better, but the title and the description are really important to us as a platform to understand what that um, image is all about. So this image looks like a house plant. Um, and then in the title, it also describes house plants. So then we recognize that. And when someone searches for house plants, we can provide this pin for them. Um, so just as you create content, thinking about that is important. Um, so we'll skip through all these. This goes into like what each one of our surfaces is. So I mentioned home feed, search. Um, if you guys are interested and want to learn more about that and where your pins show up. Related products um, that shows up in a pin to show you other things that are very similar. And then following is similar to like a Facebook or an Instagram following model. If you follow that creator, there's a special place where you can just see their content. Um, so obviously the more people engage with your content, the more it's shared throughout. So unlike Instagram where it's really your feed is all based on who you're already following, Pinterest, your content, someone doesn't need to be following you in order to find that content. So the best, um, if you're looking for a ranch style house, the best pins and the most engaged, the ones that are clicked on the most will be surfaced, whether that person follows you or not. Um, so if your pin takes off on Pinterest, that's really good because you're going to get a ton of um, visibility and they don't actually have to be following you. So that's how you get like new customers. Um, and that kind of goes to that content on Pinterest is evergreen. So it lasts forever um, because we're not like feed based and time isn't as important on Pinterest. Those ranch style homes will still be there five years from now. Um, and so putting time and energy into content on Pinterest um, actually takes you a lot longer and it lasts longer. So here's the like meaty stuff. Um, I mentioned this to Nate on the phone, but the biggest thing that you guys can do starting is to create a business account. Um, so a business account is totally free. Um, and when you log into Pinterest, you can log in as a regular user or sign up, or you can sign up as a business. Um, and basically signing up as a business account gives you additional tools and features and it displays you a little bit different on your profile. So similar to how Facebook has pages, our business account displays you in a similar way um, on Pinterest. So if you scroll down, this is um, 
an example of what the business profile looks on like on your phone. Um, on if you go to just Pinterest.com and look up Target or any um, business, you can find out what it looks like on the web. Um, but it is a little bit more customized to um, businesses. So we give you a brief um, description section. Your cover is a little bit different than our normal, like a pinner on Pinterest doesn't have a cover at all. Um, and then there's an activity section, which is all the things that you have recently posted to Pinterest. So that means you've created that content that isn't things that you've just like repinned, which is probably if you're using Pinterest now, you're probably used to just repinning stuff. And that's other people's content. As a business, it's really important that you create your own content because people want to engage with that and that will show up in activity. Um, and then if you were a business who you could shop on the platform, um, you can connect your product feeds and have a shop feature. Um, so if you scroll down, this is also what's um, really important for businesses is claiming your website. So that means whenever anyone saves anything from your website, you will get credit for that on Pinterest. So if, um, and I was taking a look at your site a little bit yesterday, if someone sees a listing on there and is like, oh, I want to keep this in mind. Um, maybe I'm not working with anyone yet, but I want to come back to this home and they pin that. Um, right now, if your website isn't claimed, when they pin that, it won't have your like avatar and your company logo on there. It will direct back to your website. But if you claim that, then it'll have you right there. People can go look at your Pinterest profile um, and see how to engage with you. Um, and then there's other accounts you can claim as well. Your Instagram, if you have a YouTube, um, those sorts of things. Um, Again, I won't go into this super detail right now because I think you guys can um, do it on your own and I want to leave time for questions, but this is how to create content on Pinterest, um, kind of the tips and tricks, the ways to create content. Um, you can keep scrolling. Um, yeah, we'll skip through all of this. Um, and then this goes into like our five ways to make the best content and most inspiring. Um, and so starting with something that inspires someone, um, and what does that look like? Um, and so these are the five ways that we do that. So novel, relevant, visually appealing, positive, and actionable. Um, and so there's descriptions of what all of that means and you guys can feel free to take a look a little bit later. Um, but I will send over two example accounts. I was just doing some like quick research on Pinterest last night to find other real estate type accounts. Um, and I'll send over one and she's doing some interesting things around like, um, different types of bathroom styling, um, different types of kitchen updates, um, and kind of putting content out there that maybe isn't gonna uh, right away sell a home, but it's engaging people, it's actionable, and people are learning about like, oh, what are the different types of kitchen styles? Um, and that content is all original and it's hers. And so it brings people back and wanting to learn more and then clicking through to her website, um, which is her ultimate goal to get traffic to her site. Um, so we can keep scrolling. Um, this is how to optimize for Pinterest. Um, how to take those like inspiring pins and then make sure that they're showing up um, for people. Um, and we can skip through that. Um, and then the last section, um, yeah, you can keep going. Um, advertising on Pinterest is something that I mentioned to Nate. Um, it depends on what your guys' goals are and how do you wanna use it. I would say that um, the one thing when you create content on Pinterest, right now it goes to everyone and whoever engages. So if people really are interested in that um, ranch style and they're seeing lots of pins like that from you, they're gonna keep on saving that. But they might be located in Oregon and you guys are in North Carolina. 
Um, and that might not be the type of person that you're looking to bring to your website. Um, if you are looking for specific um, audiences to click through and see your content, um, that's when ads come in. So when you create an ad on Pinterest, you can target a specific audience. You can really make sure that people only in um, the North Carolina geographic area can see that content. And those might be where you're posting your actual listings, um, things like that, that people only in that area are interested in. Um, and you have a little bit more control as to who sees that. Um, we have, and you guys can take a look at this later. There's two ways to do advertising. Um, there's quick and simple, which is probably what I would start with for you guys. It's just like, pretty easy. Um, you can experiment with a low amount of money to just see how that works. Um, advanced is for people who are um, advertising on probably all social platforms and um, have a specific audience, specific goals, and are trying to get clicks or conversions um, on our website. Um, and then the last section is how to measure success. So this is kind of all the cool things you get when you sign up as a business account. You get analytics, um, pin stats. So on each pin that you've created, you get your stats um, basically to see the insights of how that's performing. Um, if you scroll down, uh, you get audience insights. So this is actually a great place to start as soon as you create your account. Um, and have posted some content. This tells you a little bit about who that audience is, what their interests are. And so it might show that their interests are um, cleaning or DIY crafts, as well as real estate and home decor. And then you might create some specific content around some of those ideas to help draw them in and go to your other content on the platform. Um, and this also shows demographics. So like where people are coming from, looking at your content, um, age ranges, things like that. Um, and then the last is Pinterest trends. So this is um, more about the broad Pinterest. So what is trending on Pinterest? Um, this is really interesting right now as we're going through COVID to see how like wedding planning was a huge trend on Pinterest at the beginning of the year and it has all of a sudden dropped down completely and now it's um, weeknight meals and things like that. So there's some unique things in there that you can see are trending um, and how that could apply to your, you guys in creating new content or to see like just what's upcoming in the home decor market. Um, and then in here it goes through details of like what metrics mean on our site um, and that might be slightly different than others but for the most part it's impressions like views clicks um, pretty similar saves is the unique one for Pinterest um, and then this is um, I was gonna bring these up on my screen but um, these the business site the business blog the business community are three um, websites at Pinterest um, and I can send you links to all these as a follow-up that really help you dive into all the asks and the things you need to know. So if you guys decide you want to create your own original content, you can go in there. It's more detailed than even this um, presentation around what to create. Um, if you decide you want to advertise kind of details there. Um, the blog is all new things that come out. So every time we do a new feature launch, we'll write a blog post um, on that. And you can see like what you've missed since the last time. Um, and then the business community is brand new and it's launched in the past month. And this is um, businesses who are on Pinterest already and are seeing success helping other businesses. So it's kind of, if there's other real estate agents out there on Pinterest, you guys could, get together in this community, learn tips and tricks. There's people there writing um, blog type articles um, and just a way to engage with people who are seeing success on the platform. Um, and then Pinterest Academy is a free online learn learning course um, that helps you um, just dive deeper into what you need to know as a business um, and then everything from creation to ads. Um, and that uh, you probably only need one person to go through that who's kind of managing this. Um, I believe 
I don't know how the signups work. I think you can sign up on that website. There might be a waiting list or a time when you're ready to um, start the academy, but it's pretty straightforward um, and really helpful. So that's all I have for the presentation. I know we only have like five more minutes. Um, basically, I'm just here to answer any questions um, and help you guys learn a little bit more how it can be helpful for you. Guys, any questions, ideas, thoughts? Um, I have a question. And this may be more for Doug. How would it work because we have ocean air, but then we have all of us individually. So how would like a business uh, uh, Pinterest be set up? So do I, yeah, I think part of the question is like, so on Insta or Facebook, you can do a personal post to tag the business so it references both places. How yep. do you do that on here? Because one thing we don't do as agents is we don't have an individual agent business page. We use our personal page to reflect what we're doing with our business. So how, what are the best practices for that for Pinterest? Yeah, Nate and I kind of talked about this a little bit. I think um, no matter what, each of you having a business account is important um, because you get all those features. Whether you want to connect that to your personal Pinterest account or not, um, that's up to you. Like if you're saving a lot of fashion and your customers might not want that, like you don't need to do them together. Um, I think the best opportunity for you guys is to actually create shared boards. Um, so I, if I could share my screen, I would show you a board, but basically if you have used Pinterest and I think there is an image up there, um, a board is where you save all your content to. If there's two people who collaborate on a board or you can have like 10 of you on this board, each of you can save um, your original content to that board. And you can even write like back and forth, like um, comments on that kitchen thing. So you, there could be a master um, one for ocean air and that one could say like kitchen trends of 2020 kitchen trends, everyone can be invited to that board and then each agent can save their own kitchen trends for that right now. And that board would show up on each of your profiles. So you would all have that same content. Um, and you could just see who the original like creator of that content is. So if I that make sense? If I create the board on the team page, do I have to like share access to other people or how does that work? Yeah, so basically when you're creating that board, you can invite collaborators and those collaborators would be everyone here, but they only can collaborate on that board. So you would, every board you create, you would have to invite each team. So the first thing would be, guys, is for all of you to create an account and then follow the company. That way you're there and I can see you individually and then we can discuss what to create. And we can start very vague. It can be like home decor trends or home design trends or something like that. And I can just share it with all of you. And then you can post on your individual stuff, but then it'll share it later because it's on the team board. Am yep. I following? Yep. And basically, if you wanted to do it so all of you have the same boards, that would be the way to do it. So then each person's account would look pretty identical, um, but then everyone can create their own content for those boards. Gotcha, okay. That makes sense to me. Any questions, guys? Now it's just really starting to think about what we wanna focus on content-wise and then starting to push stuff out. So get on, create an account, follow the company if you haven't yet. And we can talk in the group about how we can kind of get started and start to, you know, expand and push it out and play with it a little bit. I, I got a question. Um, so I know you talked about analytics, but uh, so is there any way of, I guess, seeing any type of contact information if somebody uh, either follows you or is, uh, you know, pinch your, pinch your content? Um, is there any way to see like who that is? You can see their profile. Um, so their profile, like you cannot see their um, email if that's what you're asking. Um, but you can see their profile and 
Um, I believe, um, I would have to double check, but I believe their profile might say what region they're in. Maybe it doesn't. It doesn't. Um, so you can't see specifically, like, are they located near you? In your oh. analytics, you could see, like, your general demographic. Um, but you can message on Pinterest. So if there was someone who was continuing to repin your content and you wanted to reach out to them and say like, Hey, I'd love to get to know you better. Um, you could do that. Sure. Right. Okay. Cool. Does it link? I was just wondering, like, also, does it show if they're, uh, for example, if they like logged in with Facebook, um, does it show that they're also part of Facebook? It doesn't. Um, we don't show that publicly. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so if I understood correctly, there might be some best practice stuff that you can share that you said you've seen some other real estate agents have been doing that. If you do, I think that would be fantastic and a huge help to us just so we're not completely reinventing the wheel. Yeah, I'll share. Um, I don't know if it's best practice or not, but they both, the two accounts that I found, they have a lot of monthly viewers, which is a really good sign on our side. Um, and I'll share those. And then I think what I was doing last night is literally just searching in Pinterest, like real estate agent and seeing what pops up. Um, and so if they pop up, that means they're like one of the most engaged people anyways. Um, and so I think also having that in your name is probably helpful um, so that people know that's what your business and focus area is. But I'll send those over so you can take a look. Um, and it's also helpful to see like what are they doing um, and what's working for them and what's trending in real estate. Gotcha. Perfect. Well, this has been really helpful and eye opening. And I think it's uh, an untapped avenue for reaching folks that we haven't been using before. So I really appreciate, I know you're on West Coast time. So thanks for dialing in early this morning and walking us through this. It's really appreciated. Yeah. Thank you guys for having me. Um, and you have my email. So if there's any urgent questions that you want to reach out about, um, feel free. Absolutely. We definitely will. Cool. Have a good rest of your guys' day. Yeah, thanks, everyone. Thanks, thanks, everyone. thanks again, Bye. Kristen. Bye. Guys, anything else? Nope. Um, I just wanted to share, I guess, like, so um, I think there's, I put in, like, top sell houses in Pinterest, and uh, one company, it's, it's not, it's just a uh, rental company, but I think it's Carolina Creations or something like that. They seem to be using it pretty well. So just check that out. I mean, I think it's something that uh, not a lot of people are doing around here, so. Yeah, probably. That probably is the case. I think that's probably safe to say. And I don't know how many people are doing it up here, but again, I, I haven't been utilizing it, so I haven't been out there to see what people are doing. And I'm sure as I start poking around, and all of us do, we'll start to see some other things. So I would definitely search by that. You know, again, we want to do unique stuff to us, but it's also not about completely reinventing the whole process. So play around with it. As always, with all of these things, have fun. It's not about taking ourselves too seriously. It's just about engaging with people on a, you know, on a one-to-one -one level so they want to have a further discussion with us. Um, so put yourself out there. Get looking at it. Send some groups in that, uh, you know, screenshot some stuff in the group as you're browsing that we can use. And um, let's, uh, let's talk about continuing the conversation with the group, um, maybe a board that we can set up so we can get some initial content out there and just give us something to grow from, kind of a springboard. Cool. All right. Well, everybody go have a fantastic day and I'll be talking to you, okay? Thank you. Thanks everybody, bye.